Hello guys, why are we excited here today? Finally got a hand of this uh, Gundam Iron Blood Orphan. This is the Gundam Barbatos Lupus Rex. This is the final form of the uh, Gundam Barbatos. And this is made by uh, Metal Robot. And let's take a look. This is the Iron Blood logo. In the back of the box, it tells you the detail. And this is the blue fin. This is the United States. We just got this in the US. So it tells you all the metal components that uh, the frame is, has and all the gimmicks. So let's get a knife and cut this open. Let's see what we got here. Here is the instruction menu. the eye gimmick and then the blade in the back tell you the articulation and they tell you the carpet hash can be open and this is the extended arm for the melee here This is really heavy though, see? This is Lupus Rex. This is the special effect, and that's the mace, and the hand, and the blade, and the arm. And it also comes with his own stand here. So, let's just take it out. This is very really nice detail. Some of them I heard that they have a very weak joint, so lucky mine was pretty solid. You know, a little bit uh, shaky here on the waist. This is it's in the single ball joint. And the hydraulic doesn't seem to be moving. Oh yeah, the hydraulic is moving there, as you can see very really little. That's the limited uh, waist movement. You can't move them more than that, but it allows you to move a little bit with the hydraulic there. And look at the detail here, it's nice. You can see the metal frame inside. Let's look at the arm here. They have a little hydraulic here, but this does not work though, so. Let's see this gimmick here. The open carpet for the pilot. Due to the small scale, they couldn't put a little pilot there, but they make an improvement. So, and uh, let me give you a little comparison of the real gray, the one forty four scale. This is the X here. This is a lot taller than X here, as you can see. And uh, the tallest one I have is the Unicorn Gundam, real gray. Let's see, let's put them side by side like this. It's taller than the, uh, the real gray, 144 scale. And give you a little side motion. Let's see the legs. You can kick forward. You 
Well, basically the back skirt armor, you can't kick anything in the back in this guy here. Help the back armor, so you can only kick it to the front. So there's no movement to the back side, because the back skirt armor prevent it. And uh, this is how far can the leg goes. And then the toes. Very nice. So we can do a little high kick. And there's a little gimmick here to put a weapon over here. Which is one of these over here. Just shove them in, you see. So you can see. Very nice. Let's see how far can it kick to the side. Yeah, you can 100% kick to the side, no problem. Okay, let's remove that. And uh, let's see how's the shoulder. The shoulder can come out like this. Very nice. It has all the Iron Blood logo here. Look at that. The hands are pointy, but they're very soft though. Painting in this looks really nice though. The golden painting. Yeah, the Iron Blood logo. Which you can see very detail here. Even this little fine print here is good. Even in his hand. Yeah. And uh, this is the blade in the back. See, it has all his logo here. And it goes right in there, just like this. And this goes, oops. Nope, oh, it's very tight. Yeah, see, very nice. Goes up and down. But this is where we lose, I gotta tell you. This should probably be easy, just gonna pop right out of here. So if you had it in this mode, by wiggling it, oh, it doesn't seem to be falling out, but it's very loose, I could tell you that. You can put it the other way around, but that's how it looks like in the uh, in the in the pictures. Yeah, the size skirt armor. So let's see. Let's put them down. And this is the iconic look in the maze. Okay, so these are the weapons hand. So you want to hold on to the maces, slide this through here like that. And uh, I think there's a stopper pieces right here, just like this. Then you put this back. Uh, this is really nice, but this is just a, a simple mace. No other gimmick here on this mace here. So let's see how we're gonna change his hand now. And, uh, it comes in just like a standard ball joint. You pop them right out. And then uh, you put this right in here. Well, as you can see, this is due to the standard ball joint. It can hold the mace up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, even though this is in a metal ball joint. Yeah, see, the mace falls right back down. So you will need to install this uh, mechanical arm here to help the, um, in this clips. Uh, now we gotta take this out and then you slide this in. this back in here uh, this is getting really hard right here to hold this weapon it's 
excuse me, I'm not a very good Gundam poser here, so... Maybe I have to have them this way. Yup, there you go. Should have read the menu. Okay, now you close it. That's the arm. Comes out this way. And then you take this out. Slide this in and put this in together. Okay, so that's the mechanical arm that helps to hold the weapon in place. As you can see, everything is so loosey here. Yup. So, I wonder if this thing do extend it out. Oh, it does. So, okay, my bad. My bad. Okay, now I got it, see? Oops. Put them in like this, and let's see. Okay, so if you hold them up like this, you'll be able to, um, to hold the weapon up now. With the uh, extra mechanical arm here. Yeah, see, it is still too heavy. Yeah, this is the famous attack. You come in and you swing this mace, and you destroy the enemy. But you can't hold it up in this angle, as you can see. Yeah, so let's just take this off. Too bad they couldn't integrate this into the, uh, the actual item itself. So let's just put them back like this for now. arm and this arm work on both hands though because uh, you can hold it on your left hand as well so see now this is kind of tight here hmm see it does not want to open up on this hand here yep there you go now so you can interchangeable they give you two of those part This is the special effect part. And these has a little ball joint in between them. So there's one, two, two ball joint with the blood coming out of the eye. Very, very nice. So let's see. How do we change that? Okay, so the antenna comes right out of the head. And you will put this Oh man, look at that. I look like a beast already. Look at this pose here. Very nice with this. Let's see if it, if how it stands up now on its own. Let's see. Yeah, you need to post this on the stand that they gave you here. Yeah, stand up pretty nicely here. I like the way the hand looks though, as you can see. I haven't had any loose joint yet. So, that was pretty steady. You can see a lot of metal part in this here. The whole leg is mostly metal. Uh, what I think about this kit is, uh, it's kind of on the pricey side, but give it the first of its kind. 
I think this is a well worth investment to get one. You know, um, I wish they could make this a little taller to be look like a master gray, but this is good enough for me. And I like this special effect part here. And uh, let's talk about the stand now. Oh yeah, got to mention they do get these little pieces here. This is for the blade. This is one of the iconic mode where the blade will swing out and uh, attack the enemy. And you will attach this to the back of the barber toes. And then as you can see, this will start swinging out like that. And they do give you a one here that like extremely really long for this blade you know but that's how it's gonna look like you see I'm gonna come out as you can see you gotta angle it up in a certain way otherwise it's gonna start falling down but it's a, it's a cool gimmick to have and this is the stands here And uh, that's all you got. Thanks for watching.